some small tidbits before we sign off. Brian, extraction director to Helm Shinobi film. I got my attention. They're really problem. going. They're really. They're really going back and trying to dig up all these this stuff from back in the day, and do something dope with it, which is I, which I appreciate, especially with this uh, this announcement here, Brian. Because extraction was was in terms of action pack that was done really really well, and Shinobi, that's going to be very interesting. I'm think I'm looking at. I, I, it, do you remember that that movie called Assassins? It wasn't you Assassins. It was like Assassin. Ninja Assassins. I think that this will, of, but I think this will be more serious looking than that was. That definitely had a sensational sort of over the top super slow yeah. mode. The blood was almost like <clears throat> art. Uh, yeah. I didn't hate it. I mean, like the parts of that movie, I don't hate, but like I didn't love it either. But I, I, no. I, I, I you know, I like watching it. it. Yeah, there's mo- yeah, there's moments of action where you're mm-hmm. like, oh, this is pretty interesting. But I think this, based on the extraction grittiness slash originality of the fighting, yeah, that's what got me intrigued. Is like. Mm-hmm. If they're gonna do like a serious take on Joe Mushashi trying to trying to stop whatever organization that was in, in those games, like yeah, yeah, and this guy is gonna come up with some creative ways to show you ninja ninja action, like that. That's could yeah. work. That could be interesting. Yeah. Brian Michael Bay is gonna be the one helming. This Transformers versus, well, not versus, but this crossover of Transformers and G.I. Joe. Did you hear that? He is? I That's did not hear I read. that. That's what I read. God, no. Michael Bay is going to be the one helming this or producing it. No, he's producing. He's going to be involved. He's going no, yeah, produ- to be producing. He's produ- been producing all of them. I don't think he's directing any more Transformers movies. But, uh, I mean, whatever iteration comes out of this. But uh, yeah, let us know. I, I, I know. Yeah. What was that? Don't get me started on GI Joe. I've talked about this before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the ultimate. Why are you making this so hard? Yeah, yeah. And doesn't it doesn't. Why? It doesn't yeah, it doesn't why? have to be that hard. Yeah, they focused on the silly. They focused on the wrong things, and it's like you've got plenty of you've got you know just make it Black Hawk down with Joes and Cobras. That's it. It's real easy, yeah. That's it. That's it. Just like swap the characters and just be like, all right, well, here's Duke. Like, here's Flint. Like, here's Cobra Command. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's it. Brian, and lastly, uh, so they just casted their first, the, I think it was the lead for Voltron. Oh, yeah, the kid who we've never heard of. It's like a no, complete no name. Yeah, he was the understudy for Tom Holland. Uh, on stage, not on screen. Yes, on they, stage, yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if his name is going to be Keith, but this could work, Brian. I assume this could work. He looks like Keith. <laughs> He's got the eyes and the yeah, hair. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Tom um Quinn uh Daniel Quinn Toye or Toy or Quinn to- yeah. Amazon is moving forward, Brian. This is like it, just knowing Brian that this is actually being made. I am there, Brian. I am there for this. Yeah, I just we, hope oh, yeah. this is not on Earth. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I wish we had a better director. I would feel if it was Del Toro instead of Thurber, I would feel a hundred times better. Yeah. But um, the one thing that struck me is he's young, so they're really going young Voltron Force. Which the one thing is, does do you think that runs the risk of you getting a little too close to Power Rangers in some people's eyes, just because the age bracket? No, I think if they go a specific route. Where they're not teenagers, I think they. I, I mean, you get you see the angle that they're going for, right? They, they, they yeah. the young kids and stuff. Young like audience, that. it's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely going for that. If they do it right, Brian, this could this could be huge. Also, this says, could be huge. Yeah, it also says that I know we had fun casting big names. They're not really going for. The really expensive names and oh no, no 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 <laughs> maybe one Definitely maybe not. there'll be one maybe low tour maybe there'll be one those, really those yes, 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 yes 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 
yeah if this is if this is your keith then that means the other people are going to be like first or second time you've seen them on screen i would i would assume that they'll get I just don't. I just hope they don't make this goofy, Brian. I know there's some characters that could be goofy, like Hank or Hunk or whatever his name was. Um, yeah. Uh, and they the had small the mice. Guy pit. They always had the mice. They were silly. You know? Yeah. No, I'm not, I doubt they're gonna. Get... <laughs> oh no! I bet there's but a movie. The, that's like an Easter. Oh, yeah. The yeah 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 the the butler dude. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the guy the with his that collar was... up the whole time. Yeah, like, yeah. Looking after the castle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to get a big name actor. Not a big name, but somebody we know just to that, you know. Yeah. I guess uh, keep us um, watching. We talk about Shinobi and we talk about Voltron. And they're from the same general era of Mm -hmm. our lives, right? Mm -hmm. The the 80s. Voltron will be another test of this 80s IP. Like, we love it. We grew up on it. We had the toys. We watched the cartoon. Has it stayed with people through the years enough? Like have the future iterations that like Netflix did, like in animated form, were those really popular? You know, has Power Rangers kind of taken all the steam out of this IP? Like, I think these are real questions, right? Because we saw, we, we've talked about it with Transformers. We're going to get it tested with Thundercats. We've seen, you know, G.I. Joe has not worked. I mean, the only... You know, the only 80s IP that's exploded recently is Barbie. And I don't know if you would count that as such. Um, But, you know, it's all the stuff that you and I loved and grew up on, but kind of is faded for a lot of people. Like, you know, you draw the the Shinobi thing is coming more from the Mario Brothers side of the world where video games have kept things relevant um, Mm -hmm. for a number of years. Right. Where I think the Zelda movie has a chance to be huge because Zelda has Mm -hmm. remained so frontline. For so many Is games. Is that live action? So many. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not doing that. They're not doing that animated. That's going to be live action. Uh, but that director is the guy who did the most recent Planet of the Apes movie, which I thought was pretty good. Um, yeah. So I did not mind. But I'm just saying, people play Zelda, right? New Zelda game comes out, people buy it. They still play it. Everyone knows. There's the an character. audience. Yeah, that's what I mean. And like, even Shinobi, which is more of a throwback, like, those franchises, like Sonic is a successful movie franchise because Sonic the game has continued for all these generations. So I think it's a real interesting contrast of like you're seeing the golden age of video game adaptations where these video games have stayed with us versus they're trying to find every last 80s franchise that we love, but kind of has been on the shelf for a long time for people. I don't that so far that hasn't really worked that well. Interesting. I was going to make one more comment before we signed off. I saw Transformers 1. What did you think? I liked it. I liked it, and I, and I agreed. I was, you had me thinking about when I was watching it, especially towards the end, how this can continue now. How this can you continue. You want it, right? You want to see yeah. it, like, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, it looked it, it looked really, really, really well done, and I feel really bad like that this flop yeah. as it did. Like it doesn't deserve it, but I do think it's like franchise contamination. Like I think if I could somehow erase, like if I could erase Rise of the Beast, Last Night, <laughs> Age of Ex- if I could erase everything back except for Bumblebee and Transformers One. Like, uh, sorry, Transformers, the first one, not Transformers 1, but yeah, yeah, Transformers yeah, yeah. Michael Bay in 2007. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could just have those two movies and then this, I feel like this would be more of a hit. But I think people are like, just kind of like transformed out of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? They just didn't give it a chance. Yeah. And they waited they for just... Wild Robot. And Wild Robot's great. And Wild Robot's doing very well. And they, they, they made their choice with their dollars for that. Yeah. And they got to save up for Moana and they got to save up for Mufasa. A lot of stuff for kids this fall. So it just, but I, I liked it. My, 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 kid was ask, my kid was asking me the other day, when is this going to be on streaming? I want to watch it again. Wow. Me too, actually. Me too. I, it really looked good. I was like, wow, this looks really, like, like you said, tactile, like really done yeah. well, the transformation, the sound wave. You, you saw all of it. And you, it, it yeah, it's, 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 it's a shame. 
is a shame that but you knew them all but see that's the thing like i just don't think there's a lot of kids and people today who who have that like who have that association right like they show yeah. you like real jack in the background like you and i like oh that's real jack like but like nobody like no like see oh that's prowl that's blue streak like but like if you didn't grow up with it you don't you don't have that now interestingly like what i mean it's all small sample size one of my kids classmates and friends went to see it she had never seen anything transformers before in her life and she loved it i thought that was interesting it was just one person but like so she connected with the movie without any of that um but i just don't think a lot of people gave it a chance they should have uh re-released the original transformers movie that's still in theaters, dramatic, but... man i like i i have a tough time re-watching that i seriously like <laughs> When Prime goes into his like final charge, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. that's a, that's like a, that's, that's a, a yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I don't think Transformers was the, ever the same after he died. Yo. No, no. Transformers was never, I think that's when it changed for me, man. That's it. That was the moment. Like when, when, <clears throat> when he has Megatron down and out and then he allows him to like slash his flank and he dies, like that's it. That's the end. But that whole sequence yeah. where like, in 25 minutes, they they lay waste to like the entire line of toys. Like yeah. all these characters die within like 20 minutes. Jesus. Like think about that as if you were like, you know, it came out in 1986. Think about if you went to see that and you were seven, right? And you're like, yeah. these are my favorite toys, my favorite characters. They've been through like how many episodes and then they're all dead within 20 minutes. I was nine years old. Right? Like that's, yeah. But yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, all the Marvel news that's just come out. Is Blade, you know, Blade needs to be be done. Uh, hopefully that's done soon. Uh, a lot of uh, disappointing news, especially when you read some of the, the leaks for Captain America 4 and what this movie is really about, really. And it's just, you know, too bad. Raimi coming back for Doctor, Doctor Strange three. What will this movie do for? Most likely, what, this movie is going to set up uh, Secret Wars. So, but uh, having Raimi back is going to be interesting to see what he does with a film that he didn't have full control over the first time. Um, and how Marvel is sort of rethinking its maneuvering. With re with regards to projects for Disney Plus shows, something has to be done because they can't keep losing money like this. It 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 just Brian, somebody's head has to roll soon, Brian. Especially after Cap Four. After Cap 4, Brian, I'm going to be on the lookout for some names going down. Parliament this names. this cannot continue, huh? Parliament names, right? It's not going to be Kevin, but I mean, Parliament names, right? That's going to be the who There will be playing. names, though. There will be names. Yeah, That's going to be very interesting to see that, uh, how that unfolds. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think of all this, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report.